Hi everybody, it's Chris, and I'm just giving you a look forward into uh, a little small, simple little project uh, that everybody will be able to understand, everybody will be able to follow. It's a microblog style uh, application, and it's using everything that I have given a tutorial on up until now. Uh, the only thing that the only thing that does go into it, it goes into a little bit more into uh, some advanced blade things like if else and uh, if else statements for blade and that's probably the only real difference and also the before auth group so you have a, you see here I have a route group and you have to be authenticated before you go to these two routes here uh, I'm using just a regular standard get you know the rest restful uh, actions here so it's get index get user uh, shout was just an action uh, get login post login get register post register log out stuff like that uh, I used it and when I was working with level 3.2 it worked fine the uh, what you usually see is you know index show create stuff like that it would really really wouldn't work in this instance um, actually it probably would but I don't feel like getting into it I'm more comfortable doing it this way I've looked at a lot of Laravel applications and the source code to a lot of Laravel applications and most of them are done this way they're done with the still same get index get user post this post that put that um, so other than that we'll get into a little bit more into the if and else for blade which you see here uh, like you see here it's if the, auth if the user is authenticated uh, it's going to show this same thing with here if this user is authenticated it's going to show them their username I'll show you what I'm talking about here's the application you can see it's just like a micro blog thing this image is actually being pulled from Gravatar and I'll show you in the tutorial if you decide that you want me to do a tutorial on this um, I'm mixing PHP straight in with the uh, the blade template so you see here it's a PHP tag I'm just pulling the user's uh, email, whoever this, this is the shout, right? Whoever the user is that's responsible for creating this shout, I'm pulling their email and creating an MD5 string that read, uh, that Gravatar reads. So you have here the Gravatar URL and it's pulling that, and here is where it's posting the, uh, that Gravatar URL and coming out with the picture. The little 40, 80, 80 by 80 pick or whatever it is. So you see here, I'll go through a registration process real quick. I'll just go um, give a username of what? I don't know. Um, your buddy of mine from Xbox Live's nickname used Neurotica. Uh, email is going to be you at u.com I'm going to give a password of dummy then register and here we go so I can say u at u.com here and his password was dummy and you log in and here you see his name is Veronica you hear his name here in the URL and he can post a shout so this is pretty cool because this is pretty cool hit shout and it's going to give you and since that's just a dummy it's going to go to the gravatar default image which is this you see here's the by name who created it this is the date this is the time in America New York time because I'm on the east coast of the United States so that's that time and if you didn't if you notice we'll do it again If you look in the lower left hand corner, you can see the actual characters are counting down. That's jQuery. Uh, it'll go to 140, then stop. So, hit again, and there we go. I'm gonna add, I was thinking about adding a comment section where we can actually comment on people's microblog posts. But I'll leave that for y'all to decide, and I'll just leave comments. Let me know if you want me to go ahead and complete this or do tutorials as is right now. 
because I've been thinking about letting the community finish it and let you guys work on it and see what you guys come up with. So I uh, want to hear from y'all and I'll see you later.